Right. Uh, my boss has started to blank me at work because I told her to give me a bit more space in the morning. She's blown it out of proportion. I uh, hope that makes sense. Um, when you say give you more space, in terms of what? My boss is usually quite chatty with me, but she said she only wants to talk about work-related stuff with me. Hey, listen, that's not a bad thing, you know. Fam, this is how, yeah, things, yeah, you want to keep it just professional on that, yeah? And when I say professional, I don't mean like, you know, PC and that. What I'm saying is you don't want to get too, too friendly with these people, man. Don't, don't be worried about being friends with your boss. Trust me, I had it before. When I was at that infamous Holborn job, when I left the construction site, sorry, when I say boss, I mean colleagues as well. When I left the construction site and went to a different construction site, I was still working for the same company, but on a different construction site. They leaked my videos and they was all laughing at me in the office and that. These are the same people begging me, phoning me on the day, well, begging me beforehand to go to the Christmas party and phoning me, ringing me down on the night of the Christmas party and that. And I was gonna go, and I thought, oh, fuck these people and that. And then what? Three months later, uh, three weeks later into the new year, they're taking a piss out of me and sharing my videos and laughing and that. But I bet they ain't laughing now. You watch when I get a bit more bigger and that. They're gonna be like, oh, I knew that guy. You know, oh, I used to work with him. You watch. But yeah, if your boss ain't really chatting to you like that, just forget it, man. I, 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 it's not. It's not too much of an issue, is it? But do you know what? Conflict resolution and that. Maybe you should say to her. Like, look, can I have a quick word with you in the office or I don't know how your, your workplace is set up and, and say, look, I feel like there's a bit of an issue. Yeah. Do you want to talk about this or whatever in that? And then whatever she says in it, just say, well, look, I need in my space. But some, something along those lines. Obviously, I don't know the whole situation. I find my boss quite attractive and I like her personality, but maybe it's, the, it's best we both keep the conversation more professional, like he said. But you know what? Maybe the reason why your boss has backed off is because she might have fancied you, you know? You never know. She might have fancied you. So by you telling her to give me space, that's a rejection. Because if that was fucking... If Kim Kardashian was your boss, rude boy, I don't think you'd be telling her to give you some space. Yeah? So she may see that as you not being attracted to her and that. And bosses do date their quality, their, um, their uh, workers, you know. My girl has, my girl has two colleagues yeah, at her workplace. But previously, they were at a different company. Now they have a child together. And the woman was the guy's boss at the previous company. I don't know what they was doing. They weren't mortgage brokers. But now they're at my girlfriend's company and they're at the same level. They're just employees. But... Previously, the woman was the guy's boss. Is that an official term, big man? A couple of my colleagues encouraged me to ask my boss if she wants to go out for a drink with me. Good idea. A good or bad idea, in your opinion, as she's my boss. All right, big man, what sort of job do you do? Because yeah, I want to know if it's worth losing your job over. But really and truly, ain't no ass worth losing your job over. 